Hey everybody, Don Reisinger here today. On Thursday, GameStop announced its fourth quarter earnings, and boy, were they good. The company announced a profit of about $237.8 million and a diluted earnings per share of $156. It was good news for GameStop investors, and it was good news for people that might want to start investing in the gaming business. But it goes beyond that. What we've seen now is that GameStop is quite financially healthy. The company is able to admit and acknowledge that the market is changing and it knows how to adapt to that. Of course, I'm talking about digital media. See, uh, in the past and even still today, a large chunk of the gaming business has been about putting a game on a disc and selling it through this boutique video game retailer and other locations. But now the market is increasingly moving towards digital sales. So gamers are downloading games from the web and from other areas to their consoles. What that means, or what we, what we thought that meant over the past couple of years, was that GameStop would be pushed out of the market. The company would no longer be all that necessary. But it's clear now that that's not the case. For one, physical media sales are going to be around for a long time, so these discs are not going away. And two, GameStop acknowledged that it is well prepared for this digital changeover. And its business shows that. Its recent earnings show that. So I'm not worried. I think that GameStop is well positioned in the gaming space. I do think that as this digital shift continues, GameStop is going to do even better. So over the next several quarters, expect a lot from GameStop. This is just the beginning of what could be a major breakout for that stock. And investors that want to get into the gaming business and specifically want to get into gaming retail should focus almost all of their efforts on GameStop. I really think it's a solid stock going forward.